It's like I want to do like yoga to show you. Oh, it's just, it's just, oh, it's just, mm. Hi guys, welcome back. So, transitional dressing. This is the season for it. Okay, I'm just going to go in and show you some of the outfits that I've got laid out on my bed. Um, the light is disappearing, so I really wanted to get through this quickly for you and just show you some ideas on things that you've already got. You've been waiting for the summer when it's warmer, but you can still wear them in the, what is that? But well, you can still wear them in the autumn and the fall. I'm so excited. I'll tell you, this season is just, oh, it's just the best. Well, not this one. Technically, the next one, fall, because fall is not for about two more weeks or something in New York, something like that. Anyway, officially. Okay, so I'm gonna stop waffling, come down a little bit, bring you down slightly, like that. So the first idea I had for you in terms of transitional dressing, I mean, these are just simple things that I've got in my wardrobe. Um, most of these you've seen before, some you may not have, some may be new pieces just in, um, but anyway, the point is, it's just teaching you some ideas on how to like, just sort of add a bit more, just how do you ease in? How do you like, you know, what, what do you do with the pieces you've already got or need to buy and how do you style them up? So first up is this bodysuit. It is from Topshop. I bought it in the, I got it in the summertime and still have it and love it. I knew I was going to wear this a lot because it's just basically, it's a leotard, isn't it? I mean, you can wear this with anything. It's like underwear slash, you know, normal wear, if that makes any sense. Anyway, so first look is and i have this on my instagram is wearing it with first look which i've got already on my instagram is wearing it just with this look at this oh god look how good it looks in that light that dappled light it's the satin navy skirt how oh this is gorgeous this is amazing this you can get right now i think you can get this too but this i know you can down below click because i put this on my instagram stories and a bunch of you got it but there's still some left so i want you to oh my god it looks so good <laughs> sorry this looks so good if i do say so hey if you can't toot your own horn anyway it is this navy satin skirt i think this is gorgeous look at the way it just sort of kicks out on the side a little bit kind of goes like that and then out it's just it's just the most flattering skirt look at that it's just gorgeous and this is the back of it here it's just such a nice skirt anyway this is my idea for just wearing it when it is um warmer weather and then if you want to sort of make it a little bit more oh shoes shoes i had on hold on so shoe wise i went with the uh i'll call them the harpoon sneakers because I think most of you don't like them, but as I always say to you a lot, as long as you like it, that's all that matters. With the Balenciaga Triple S sneakers, and that was the whole look. It was just wearing that together, and just, yeah, so just wearing that look together. But, 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 take this, right? Look at this. You don't have to remember this. Do you remember this full blazer that I got last year? just add that oh god it's men's and you see what you see the thing is this is a men's blazer there is a reason why you wear a flipping men's blazer it just looks like you're wearing a men's blazer and that's the appeal of it it's like a woman wearing a men's white shirt you know it's just it's that juxtaposition of a female figure in a masculine sort of boxier jacket it's just that clash it's just amazing anyway so i like the look of this because gray and navies work well together this is black neutral goes with anything now bag wise i had it with the loewe in the stone blue which still works together i do kind of like that together see and you've got the sneakers yeah i do like that i still like this look together but right let's just have some fun yeah this still works i like this yeah i love this oh god <laughs> i love this together oh so i've got this bum bag or a belt bag this let me tell you this is quite new for me this belt bag i have loved 
wearing this belt bag. I have worn it just to run errands to go to the post office. It's new in for me in my wardrobe and I've just really been enjoying just having, just going hands free for a change. But I've worn it so many different ways. I could wear it this way, obviously, so you're completely hands free, right, like that. Okay, just like that. And then taking that a step further, you know this is something that I love, I just love showing you this because this is such an easy thing to do. Take any belt it could be skinny it could be wide i like the idea of a skinny one because i find it's more versatile to wear oh yes see what i'm saying just like this just like oh god that flipping skirt though just that contrast of having that sort of you know flowy skirt really feminine and then you've got like this tweedy literally a men's blazer thrown on top i just love that combination together and you make this as tight as you want i've got this as a braided belt which i always recommend you lot because you can put it anywhere you want you don't have to like have a specific small medium and large oh this is oh this is so good let's just see how it looks actually with a wide belt i just want to do this with you i love Plain dress up is just so flipping fun, especially when it is that time of the year when I'm sure you lot are doing exactly what I'm doing. Like you're trying to figure out how you're going to wear stuff later. Holy crap, I can't breathe. Is it going to work? Oh God, does it work? <gasps> that black from this picking up in the black here. Oh Jesus, just, oh my God, this looks so 80s. Which of course is on trend. Oh, this, I love how this looks. Immediately, it just looks so much more like 80s. And then you just have this, just roll it up a bit. Gold with the gold buckle. Do you, you see all those subtle touches, which is just, oh, oh my God, this looks so good. Sorry, I just, just you know, I mean, sometimes, why not? Like I said, you've got to pat yourself in the back. So this is the bag I was thinking of, but you don't always have to wear this, obviously. This, hold on. So many bag options, it really doesn't matter. I just picked the Zara beaded bag because you know how I feel about beaded bags, period. I just like that look, I'm just like, basically I'm just picking out the black from the black of the belt. That's why I chose this bag color, but it could have been the white shrimps one, it could have been, it could have been anything, you know. Oh God, this is, Oh, I love this. I love this look together. I'm going to try another bag actually and wear this open just so you can see. Hold on. As you know, leopard print is so, so big at this, at this particular moment. I've had this Jerome Dreyfus leopard print bag for approximately four years. Such a good leopard print. It's really, really well done. So I like the look of the grey with that brown i think they work really nicely together and also i've told you before brown and navies killer together and so this is that navy satin skirt with the brown of this that also works but another color this is just i mean i'm just literally just playing dress up and changing in front of you just got this sleek bag on the side which also really works so nicely together so i like this this one is from Celine, it's a really, really simple bag. I actually got it um, through HG Bags online. I'll link to her below. The owner of the site is called Erica. I've known Erica as far as like as a seller of um, designer items for approximately, actually longer than 10 years. She was, I've, I, I bought Balenciaga bags from her. It's just ridiculous anyway, and she's still doing this. Um, she's also been recommended on the Purse Forum, so she's legit. Anyway, so I always loved this Celine simple clasp bag, and I just thought this also kind of works with it as well. So it really is just up to you, like how you sort of want to dress up or down something very basic like this, but I like this together. I think this looks, yeah. I like it. It works. It's simple. You know, I'm a small bad girl. This is this is this is very typical for me. But this is a great outfit. And then you've got like the trainers on just to like dress it down. Oh, this is just great. I love this. Hold on. So this is the whole look together. I just really like this. I promise you, lot. I will sort out this whole like full length thing. But this is definitely um yeah. I like this. 
okay let me show you the next one okay so another idea for you if you've got like a classic summer dress right this one i've picked up from beacon's closet it's it just reminds me of like a chloe vibe dress i'll step back so you can see it this is just oh i love this dress so much look at this neckline i've shown it to you before in a previous video I'll link it below. Oh, that was with the Beth Jones, East Coast, West Coast. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. Back 70s look to it. You can just like put any layered um, jewelry on, slightly puffed shoulders. It's where I teamed up with another YouTuber. She's on the West Coast. And we decided to do like, go to like our respective vintage shops, our favorites, and challenge each other to come up with a day look and a night look. On here, I just think this is really, really a, such a pretty, dress it's just oh it's fantastic so i decided so obviously when it's summertime i'd probably wear it with something like this like a simple boho vintage bag that i've got here just you know something like this it's really easy right just like that and then on my feet just to dress it down i'll probably wear like a just pair of like retro looking um trainers so this would be my look so i could wear sandals with it and espadrilles with it as well um and i love the swing of this as well look see look it's nice right it's just oh such a great dress anyway so for when it gets cooler what i do is this one this is just i'm just previewing things i'm going to be doing anyway you know about this trench coat i found it like was it a year ago? No, it's been more than that. It's been like three years I've had this, I think. And it's this beautiful, beautiful, buttery soft suede and leather paneled uh, trench coat. Then the most fantastic shade of blue. But look how it just picks up. You do not have to wear darks in the fall. Don't think that you have to. The point is just to still wear colors that complement each other. And I like, I picked this because I like how the colors are picking up in the colors in this um the dress as well so i'd probably go with the vintage uh christian dior saddle bag i just love how this whole look looks together whole look looks together yeah i guess that makes sense it just doesn't sound like it does i just like that look of the colors worn together with this i just it's, it's just very karen wearing something like this i think god my hair is just like a bit of a mess right now ignore that but yeah just see what i'm saying though just this whole look to get yes yes and shoe wise i'd switch out those old school looking trainers which are asics and i would go with a pair of boots i would go with the camis oh my precious my precious just like before blues and browns together work so i would put these on i'm just going to show you how it looks I couldn't deal with that lens, I just had to switch to this one. So now you can see everything, including the bag options that I was considering. So get the cushion out of the way because you can see way more now. God, look at the mess back there though. It is the Gani Crocodile Boots, Crocodile Finish Boots in that beautiful toffee brown colour. You already know about these boots. Anyone who's following and subscribed to my channel, you already know about these. You're going to see them all over again now that it's going to start to get cooler again. Same thing I said before, brown and blues work together. You remember that? Brown and blues work together. B and B, B and B. It's kind of like a shabby chic kind of look and I just, I'm really drawn to that. It feels very me. It feels like this is stuff that I picked up from the flea market. It just looks like something that Lenny Kravitz's wife would wear. And then another idea is just to wear the Loewe puzzle bag as well. I love it within this color. I have it in the tan color, but I probably wouldn't wear those. Oh, I love, God, I just caught myself on the monitor. I love how this looks together. This is the way to do it. It's just lots of echoes of blues happening. So it's keeping the sort of the two color rule almost in a way that I've talked to you about as well. And um, it just makes these the focus of attention. Great look at this this is just oh, it's so good it's so good it's so good look look what do I do? look ah! it's like I want to do like yoga to show you oh it's just oh this, mm. I like this idea together and you know what this is a look I'm actually probably gonna wear just you know, walking down the street like that I've told you before this is how vloggers take photos but just doing that 
anyway all right so um yeah let me just show you the next look before i just sort of just prance around all day in just this okay so the next summery transitioning look into fall i'm thinking of is these zara wide leg trousers you saw them on tuesday's video ultra wide leg that's why i lo love them anyway so one idea and the way i wore it before was with the um strapless top which is actually a headscarf and i just wore it here but just to switch things up a bit another way i would wear it during the summertime or when it's just nicer weather is this top this is from Topshop, and I, oh God, I cannot say how much I love this. Yeah, you can kind of see it, yes, yes. Oh, there you go, look at that. This is just everything. Look how nice, it's so pretty. It's like a top half of a wedding dress or something. Anyway, so I like the idea of having, tuck this label under. I like the idea of having this because this is high-waisted and the top is quite cropped. So it fits, it sort of sits really nicely right there. Um, and then on my feet, I just got a pair of like just converses. So this is what I came up with instead for winterizing or fallerizing. Oh, I just came up with a word. Boy, I need to copyright that though before someone else takes it. Okay, so this is my fallerized version of this. Take that contrast stitch jacket that I have. You guys have seen this hopefully before. And then just adding it to this. And it's cropped already. So it complements the high rise of the pants really well. and just shows off the pants nicely. Love that. See how high that is? That play of the two together. It's a nod to that Western look as well for the season. And then on my feet, I've got a pair, take it all the way, of vintage cowboy boots. I can button this last one up too. And then you just team it with the um, pants. I love that look together. It's just, it's just a nice sort of, sort of very, it's a very fitted look, but it looks kind of, I don't know, it's something kind of cool and sort of, it sort of walks the line of being smart, but casual at the same time. There's a slight nod to the Western vibe as well. Um, and you could do it all the way up here. I found this from Love Day Queen. I'll link her, their Instagram account below. I get so much of my stuff from there. They are just the brilliant, they just the brilliant, they're just brilliant for like vintage finds. And bag wise, let me just show you what I'd pick. The idea of wearing the Mark Cross Grace bag, beautiful like suitcase style bag. And I just like the simplicity of this bag as well what's rattling around i can hear something in it it's a couple of coins if you wear it on your shoulder crossbody you decide it's adjustable as well so i could have it up here if i wanted just really, really simple like this um and then obviously like i said before you can wear it crossbody as well and just wear it sort of a little bit higher if you want there's something that screams military to this i don't know also you could obviously wear this completely undone i'm wearing a um, a knitted fine knit tank top under this so you can just sort of see this one is from mango like this but yeah i just like the idea of this combination together two color rule everything is kind of focused on these wide leg jeans and that is the focus point of this for this transitional look i hope you loved it <laughs> oh the jacket look at this <gasps> look at the lining look at the lining look at this lining look at the lining of this. my last look this is very very classic a slip dress i found this from a thrift shop from that same video with beth so you definitely have to have a look linked below i found this leopard print slip dress which is just it's just it was too good to not take and i would probably just wear it now just with a pair of like converses thin straps i'm not wearing a bra with it uh, obviously you can um and yeah this is the details of it. it i think it's actually a real like slip dress as in you went to wear it at night and on it is just so good the way it tricks the eye how it's got those diagonal lines going down it's just oh so good anyway so and this is how i'd sort of fallerize something like this i would take <laughs> this blazer this men's tuxedo blazer already i love it oh god already already I love it just like this I haven't even done anything yet just like this I mean stages right it, oh this is so good and then um, I would turn around and take this because I like the the width of it and the fact that it's leather blazer and just having oh my god <laughs> just doing something like this right just really easy or even just 
I bring it down like this, right? And then got this going. Oh, I just love a good belted man's blazer. It just looks so good, right? And you just got that. that suddenly, it's turned this dress into a skirt. No one would know that you're wearing a, a dress at this point. They would think that you found this skirt and go like, oh my gosh, where did you get that skirt? You know what I mean? But, pièce de résistance, I would turn around shoe-wise, I would take off those um, converses and I, and I would go with these Doc Martin boots. Now these I recently got in. I went into the Doc Martin store in Soho. I saw them, loved them, bought them. Um, this is now going to be my second pair of Doc Martin boots. Um, these ones are slightly different in that they've got like this massive platform on them which I love to pieces so let me show you them on so this are uh, this is the whole look with the boots on these boots are so flipping good sorry we're losing light at the moment so I better hurry up and stop waffling so this is the whole look together this is the Doc Martin boots you can see I really like this is such a simple easy trick you could do pick any belt you want just find that sort of oversized blazer men's section I've told you a lot about this from the beginning of this channel I think and I probably always will but I like that look of juxtaposing the mannishness of this oversized blazer or tuxedo jacket which I actually found it's actually part of a suit a smoking a smoking jacket suit I think they're called anyway so found that with the matching tra trousers it's $13, we're so cheap. Anyway, um, this thrifted um, leopard print slip dress worn like this underneath and just, I love, look, it's got like slits on the side, which I think is just so cool. Look, it's right there, it's got a flash of the leg and then you've got like the toughness of the boot worn with it. And then bag-wise, I would probably go with the Loewe, a little bit more grown up. Um, and I just like how the tan looks with everything combined here. Again, it's that two color rule in effect, I just realized that. But this, yeah, I like how this looks together. And this, with this bag, it doesn't matter how you wear it, on your shoulder or handheld, either way, it works. Okay, bonus one, I lied. Quick look, light is disappearing, as you can obviously tell, so my apologies in advance. But I've got this snakeskin shirt, easy thing that you probably team with a denim skirt, something like this, which, so easy to do and then you've got like the converses again very very simple these converses will probably be black actually if i was wearing a black skirt i'd probably wear the black converses with these to so fallerize it i love that word fallerize i need to look into trademarking that i would go with this long pleated skirt i got last year i think from h&m i got it in the largest size they had i think it was it went up to a 14 i think and that was perfect because Look at that length. That is why I love it so much. I, I kind of like this more than the denim mini skirt, right? I love this snake print shirt. I think it's, I'm always very particular with my um, animal prints and I think this one was done particularly well. And I'll take my Western cowboy boots because why the hell not? I love that clash, that juxtaposition or something really boyish. I'll just show you really quickly now. <laughs> This is like black on black, and normally I'd probably go with um, like the Ganny boots. Oh, those would look really good with this, right? Yeah, the Ganny boots. Shall I try them on? Oh, I don't know. There's not enough light. Oh, I tried one side on, and I do like it. See, this is the this is the Ganny boot side. Yes, put it against the white carpet so you can see. See, just a little bit of flash there. The brown with the black. I like it because the brown, the dark brown of the boot is picking up a little bit on the shirt and I love the play of the two um, animal prints together. You've got the snake combined with the croc. So you've got lots and lots of interesting textures combined together and I think that looks brilliant. So let's finish it off, shall we? And just actually show you the final bonus look. See, that's another way you can just rock animal prints but in a really um what's the word i'm looking for in a subtle way i think and then everything sort of like tied together with this long fluid skirt yeah oh and then for jacket wise i mean god i could pick anything right let me just have a go mm, okay hang on all right i went with the primary new york leather jacket that i was telling you a lot about and i decided to go with this jacket because of the plain proportions the longer line skirt really long skirt 
So I didn't want to go with a long line blazer, an oversized blazer. I thought it would look just proportionally better to offset that length of the skirt with a shorter sort of cropped jacket or upper half. It's the softest, butteriest leather I have found or felt on a jacket. If if there was feeler vision, oh, you lot would be going, oh, yeah, you're right, Karen, you're right. I just like that play. It's kind of rock star looking. I've got the leather with the snake skin of the shirt. Also very Lenny Kravitz, if I must say so myself. Um, and then you've just got this bag as well. Just can just have like a Loewe puzzle, picking up on the tones of the shirt with the bag. This is a great neutral bag. I've told you about this ad nauseum. If you want to know any reviews about the Loewe puzzle, um, I'll link my review. Like if you're thinking about investing in one of these bags for this year. But that is the look. That's everything combined with the Ganny boots. Oh, I'm so glad to wear these boots again. Oh, you know, these are the things that get me so excited about fall. It's just being able to wear this stuff again. Anyway, you know what? There is no light. Let me just do a quick outro before you lot can't even see me anymore. Okay, so that is it. That is my lot. Those are my ideas for transitioning your looks into when it gets cooler mastering the techniques. I mean, hopefully when you were watching this video, you got to see just a little bit about how I do it, what my process is, and just explaining why I put what together with that. Because I think that's all we want to know when we're dressing up. It's like, why would you wear that with that? Because I would not have thought about that. So tell me why you did that. You know, it's that kind of idea. That's why I did this video, and that's why I kind of have this channel in the first place. Um, it's just to inspire you season after season. So I hope that you got that through this video as well. Um, but I think that is, oh God, I love this shirt. I love this shirt so much. Urgh. This is a good one. I'll link it below. But this is a flipping good shirt if I do so. It looks so much more expensive than what it is, doesn't it? It does. It does. It really does. Anyway. <laughs> And I'm done tooting my own horn. Um, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. My Instagram is Karen Britchick. Um, and I think that is everything I wanted to say in this video. What else is there? Um, I can't think of anything else, but I do want to do more um, fall related videos um, over the next few coming weeks. I've got, um, there's a few new pieces I've got coming in. I'm just waiting for them to deliver. And I just want to incorporate them into like the videos to come so you can get some real juicy, you know, takeaway information on what you can do with your wardrobe because I think this is one of the most brilliant times of the year because you just have an excuse finally to just wear more clothes basically um, and I, I love it. I just love you as you know already just the fun of it is just the ultimate buzz for me just coming up with something really interesting and, and just fun, just fun and I hope you feel that and I hope that is what you get from watching my channel really um all right so that is it i'm done waffling um have a good weekend as i always say and i will see you next tuesday <laughs> bye oh no 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 you want to see a bit of that don't you i know you want to see a bit of that oh but you don't want to see the stuff that's on the floor mm. oh what's that oh what's the but if we want to have some fun, let's have some fun. So, let's have some fun. So what are you going to do, Karen? I don't even know. And just go through some ideas. All right, so the first one is, oh God, VPL, or what? For the record, yeah. For the, for the record.